to the Detail Purple Channel, where detailing enthusiasts who love to investigate interesting thoughts, for example, the topic of self-healing ceramics or nettle coatings, you may or may not have seen or heard about self-healing ceramics. What it does is, when the coating gets scratched, and you apply a heat source, the coating knits itself back together, and the scratches disappear. Self-healing properties in coatings is not a new concept. It has been used in other disciplines such as smartphone and aerospace industries. Self-healing attributes are commonly activated by agitation and damages to the coating. Imagine cutting the surface of a grape slightly. Its cell structure bursts, releasing juices to fill the cut. Like blood clots. The same applies to the self-healing polymers. Upon breaking, the capsules release active filling agents to fill the damaged sections. In order to self-heal. We believe the coating has to be at least 20 micrometers in thickness to release enough filling agents, but the modern hand-applied nano coatings are simply too thin for this to work correctly. This has led us to think that there must be other factors, such as elasticity and formability, of a certain material that contributes to the self-healing property. So, which material's elasticity and formability will heal itself? Is it the ceramic coating, or the substrate clear coat itself? Please note that we do not have access to every proclaimed self-healing coating except one, and its make will be kept anonymous. But we'll use what we have to demonstrate. We are also not here to criticize any brand. We're simply here as enthusiasts to share our findings, detailers to detailers. Here we have a proclaimed self-healing coating in a two-part mix system. We also have the well-known Carpro C Quartz UK, Gian Pure, PNS Inspiration, Tag UHS. Moss, fusel coat, and color crush, just to demonstrate the point. First, the panel will be polished and prepped. We'll use both heat gun and hot water as heat sources. And the temperature ranging between 70 to 85 degrees Celsius. Second, we'll do two coats on the test panel with each product, following the manufacturer's recommended application method and cure time. Then, the panel will be force cured with a heat lamp and left to cure for the next 24 hours. And finally, we'll proceed with causing fine scratches on all the test sections and let you experience the results.
We didn't show PNS inspiration and fusel coat, but the results are the same and overall quite interesting. Paint hardness will play a big part in how fast the paint knits itself back together. The softer the paint, the faster it heals. However, we don't recommend you to go and apply excessive heat on your own panels, as too much heat can weaken and delaminate the paint, resulting in the paint to peel and fail. Since the thickness of hand-applied coatings are too thin and almost immeasurable, we don't think it has much of an effect on the paint's elasticity. However, please contact us if you have products we don't have access to. We'll be quite intrigued to test what's out there, as we are not suggesting certain self-healing coatings on the market do not work. If you have enjoyed the video and were surprised like us and would like to see more future content, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.